We're given two functions, f and g, and what we want to do is verify that they're inverses. So, as the notes state, in order to show that two are inverses, you have to show this. We're going to do f of g of x and show that's equal to x. We also have to do g of f of x and show that's equal to x as well. So we have to work out both sides and show that both sides equal x, and that's our verification to show these are inverses. So I have our f and g right here, and from previous section, we know that f of g of x is equal to this. We want to put the g into the f. So g is 1 half x plus 1 half. That's going to go inside here, 1 half x plus 1 half. That's telling us we have to put this into the f function. So that's 2 and then I'm taking out the x that was originally in the f equation and then I have minus 1. The x that's there gets filled in with this. 1 half x plus 1 half. So now I want to multiply each of these by 2. So I have 2, this is really 2 over 1 times 1 half and then cancels and you get a 1 when you do that. So 2 times a half is just a 1x or just x. 2 times a half gives you just plus 1 and then you have minus 1 also but when you simplify that you get x. That's what we're supposed to get for the first part of this if they really are in fact inverses. Now we're going to do this side. g of f of x equals x. The definition says that this is f of x put inside of g. f of x is our 2x minus 1. I'm going to put that inside here in place of the original f of x. This is saying now that I got to put 2x minus 1 into the g. Okay, here's g. g is 1 half. I'm going to take out the x and then I have another 1 half that's there. So the space that's, that's in there I'm going to fill in with 2x minus 1 and now I'm going to multiply that out. I get 1 half times 2x, that gives you again 1 half times 2, same as before, it's going to give you just x, 1x. 1 half times negative 1 is negative 1 half, and then you have plus 1 half, and then those two are going to cancel out. That also gives you an x. So now, that, since I've shown that both sides equals x, I've now verified these are in fact going to be inverses.